A longtime friend and neighbor of Johnny Depp testified that the actor's ex-wife, Amber Heard, told him the movie star threw a phone at her and hit her inside the couple's Los Angeles penthouse. Key points, Mr. Baruch says he never saw violence from Mr. Depp. Mr. Baruch says he never saw violence from Mr. Depp. Mr. Depp's sister was also cross-examined in the case. Mr. Depp's sister was also cross-examined in the case. Ms. Heard's lawyers say the evidence will show Mr. Depp assaulted their client. But Isaac Baruch said he never noticed any evidence of abuse on Ms. Heard's face, both when he first saw her in the hallway or the next day in the sunlit lobby of their Art Deco-style building. She's got her face out like this to show me, and I'm looking, and I inspect her face, Mr. Baruch said of the encounter in May 2016. And I don't see anything. I don't see a cut, a bruise, swelling, redness. Mr. Baruch is the second witness called in the trial over Mr. Depp's allegations that Ms. Heard falsely portrayed him as a domestic abuser. Mr. Depp said an opinion piece Ms. Heard wrote for the Washington Post in 2018 indirectly defamed him. Ms. Heard refers to herself in the article as a public figure representing domestic abuse. It doesn't name Mr. Depp. But his lawyers argue that it clearly referenced a restraining order that Ms. Heard sought in May 2016, right after Mr. Depp told her he wanted a divorce. Mr. Depp denies abusing Ms. Heard. Depp's friend says he didn't see bruises. Mr. Baruch, a painter, has been friends with Mr. Depp since 1980. He also worked at the Viper Room when the Pirates of the Caribbean actor partly owned the famed Los Angeles club. Mr. Baruch said Mr. Depp has financially supported him, providing him with places to live and giving him about $100,000 over the years. Johnny Depp's friend said the abuse claims had been damaging to the actor's family. Mr. Baruch testified he noticed no makeup on Ms. Heard's face when she said Mr. Depp hit her. But during cross-examination, Mr. Baruch conceded he didn't know if Ms. Heard, who worked with cosmetics giant L'Oreal, had applied any concealer, foundation, powder or tint. Mr. Baruch got emotional at one point, stating that Ms. Heard needs to take responsibility and move on. He said he never saw violence from Mr. Depp. His family has been completely wrecked by all of this stuff, and it's not fair, Mr. Baruch said. It's not right, what she did. It's insane. Mr. Baruch also testified that he saw security video showing Ms. Heard's sister Whitney throwing a fake punch at Ms. Heard's face while the two waited for an elevator in the building where he and Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard lived. And then they start laughing, Mr. Baruch said. Mr. Depp's attorneys argued the sisters were practicing for a real punch to feign abuse from Mr. Depp. Lawyers for actor Amber Heard have raised questions about Mr. Depp's drug and alcohol consumption. But Ms. Heard's lawyers have said the evidence would show Mr. Depp physically and sexually assaulted Ms. Heard on multiple occasions. And they've argued that Mr. Depp's denials lack credibility because he frequently drank and used drugs to the point of blacking out and failing to remember anything he did. Depp's sister questioned about his drug use. The first witness called for the trial was Mr. Depp's older sister, Christy Dembrowski, who faced a barrage of questions from Ms. Heard's lawyers about Mr. Depp's alcohol and drug use. When she took the stand, Ms. Dembrowski said she and her brother endured a difficult childhood in which Mr. Depp learned to hide from an abusive mother. Ms. Dembrowski, who also worked as Mr. Depp's personal manager, said she saw the same pattern in Mr. Depp's relationship with Ms. Heard adding that she would book an extra hotel room for Mr. Depp if Ms. Heard started a fight. But Ms. Dembrowski struggled on cross-examination when asked why she sent texts to Mr. Depp in February 2014 that said, Stop drinking. Stop coke. Stop pills. Christy Dembrowski, the older sister of Johnny Depp, testifies about their childhood. Ms. Heard's lawyers zeroed in on a text exchange between Ms. Heard and Mr. Dembrowski in February 2014. Ms. Hurt says, JD is on a bender, and your response is, where are the kids? Correct? J. Benjamin Rottenborn asked. Ms. Dembrowski said that was correct. 
She also confirmed a 2014 email exchange she had with a doctor who treated Mr. Depp's addiction to pain medication. You believe that your brother needed help with drugs and alcohol? Mr. Rottenborn asked. Ms. Dembrowski responded that she was concerned about Mr. Depp's use of one medication, but didn't believe that he had a problem with drugs or alcohol overall, or that he romanticized drug culture. Both Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd are expected to testify at the trial in Fairfax County Circuit Court, scheduled for six weeks, along with actors Paul Bettany and James Franco and tech entrepreneur Elon Musk. Ms. Hurd's lawyers had sought to have the case heard in California, where the actors reside. But a judge ruled that Mr. Depp was within his rights to bring the case in Virginia because the Washington Post's computer servers for its online edition were located in the county. Mr. Depp's lawyers have said they brought the case in Virginia in part because the laws there are more favorable to their case. AP, 